Hello again, everybody. Uh, this is a special birthday tribute to Michelle. Uh, she is turning the big 5-0 tomorrow, and uh, we want to do to a social distance birthday party for her with some of her older friends or patients that she's helped over the years. So, happy birthday, Aunt, uh, Michelle. Uh, my good friend, Gilbert, uh, made you a, a sign. Gilbert, say hi. Happy birthday. <laughs> Hi, guys. Gilbert, do you have the song to sing to uh, Michelle today? Happy birthday, day, day. Happy birthday, day, day. Very good, very good. Uh, he, he wrote this note. Uh, you spelled it wrong. You said happy birthday, Michael, Mitchell. There's two, there's an E, and you spelled birthday wrong. Do you not know how to spell the words? Okay, you're special. Okay, well, we're going to have to talk to a few of your patients you've had over the years and helped. Uh, you've never helped me because you don't like me, and uh, apparently every time I've gone to you for blood transfusions, you've refused me. So that's some kind of bull. Anyway, we're going to talk to a few of your patients, and happy birthday. Good day, Michelle. It is Lord Pito Pillow Bottom. I'm sorry, Pillow Bottom. I'm oh, crap. My mustache got in the way. Anyway, I would like to wish you a happy 50th birthday. I remember when I was 50 and I had some good times. I visited my girlfriend, Gretchen, here in the States. I remember I called and said, Gretchen, hello, hello, on the phone, on the telly. Uh, and she said, come over there, Lord Pillow Bottom. I said, okay, well, she's a butcher. So I said, well, I will come to the States and visit and you will give me some of your sweet sausage that you make at the butcher shop. <laughs> That's a joke. That's funny. No, I said, give me some sweet sausage. And she did. So I said, let's go. So I met her at the butcher shop. And she said, well, meet me at home later. And I would like you to build me a man cave. I looked puzzled at Gretchen. I said, man cave? Why would you want a man cave when your name is Gretchen? Well, she basically said, I would like me to have a she shed. I said, she said, he said, shed, shed, shed. Very confused. Anyway, so I went to the Home Depot, and I found myself a little boy at the Home Depot, and I, I said, boy, go fetch me some of your longest wood. I would like to build something. He said, sir, what kind of wood would you like? I said, long and hard, that's the best wood out there. And please give it to me and give me some nails. I would like to nail me some wood. He said, okay, okay. So I got some wood. And I brought it home to Gretchen. And Gretchen, she was in the bathroom shaving off her hair on her face. She had lots of hair on her face, which I didn't mind at the time. It's okay. And it actually tickled me a little bit. Anyway, so we went and we had some sweet sausage. And after dinner, we built a she shed and we played with the wood. It's good times. That is how I remember spending my 50th birthday. Well, back to you, uh, Michelle. Uh, unfortunately, I was choking on the sausage, so I came to you at your little nurse shop. I said, excuse me, Michelle, I'm choking on some sweet sausage Gretchen gave me. Help me, please. You wonder, how, how was I talking when I'm choking at the same time? <laughs> Very good. Yes, that is good stuff. Uh, yes, but I was choking, and you said, well, sit back, and I will unchoke you. So how the hell do you unchoke somebody? Well, you took a plunger out of the closet, and you stuck it in my mouth, and you sucked out the sweet sausage. Lovely! It was so good to have you as my nurse at the time. And you basically gave me some advice for Gretchen. Said, well, you know, if it's a he-she, that's okay. You know, it's the 20th century, man. Get with the times. So, we are now married. And in Britain, you're allowed to marry he-shes. It's all good. So, happy birthday! Thank you for unclogging the sweet sausage from my innards. Happy birthday to you. Oh, okay, well, we're back here again to talk to about Officer Bob. Um, I'll help you, Officer Bob. Do you remember uh, Michelle? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Well, we're here to mention a happy birthday to her. So, um, years ago, you visited Aunt Michelle at her little nurse shop because uh, you were shot in the butt. Do you remember? I was actually shot in the legs. Well, your leg butt? That's why I had no legs. Well, oh, that's right. You, you were shot in the legs. Well, 
I remember because I was there. I was uh, we were at the Seven Eleven, and I was getting a slushy. And uh, I remember the robber came in and said, "Give me your money," and you said, "No, I am a cop." Do you remember? Yep. And then what happened? And then you shot off my legs, and then I had oh, God. I had to go to the hospital. Yes. And who helped you at the hospital? Aunt Michelle. Oh yeah, she's your aunt too. I don't know. Oh, maybe we would just call her Aunt Michelle. You know, like you know, Uncle Bob. You know, is a guy. Uh, you know, it was Aunt Michelle. Or, you know, okay, well, that's good. So she helped you. Did she give you back your legs? No, she had to remove my legs. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. What happened to all the blood? I don't know. I, I could have probably drank that for like two years. Did, did Michelle throw out the, the blood? I guess. Damn I you, Michelle. Him. Why do you not give me the blood? Anyway, so, okay, well, so, do you remember her? Do you want to thank her for saving your... <laughs> Sort of legs? Holy crap, what the hell is that? There's a freaking rat in here. Are we in New York? So she did not save your legs, but she she helped you anyway. Right? Yep. Do you have a, a speaking problem? Yep. Were you, were you shot in the head? Is your brain maybe not good? Yes, yes, okay. Do you still walk the beat? <laughs> you can't walk the beat because you have no legs. Anyway. Say happy birthday to the camera to say happy birthday to Aunt Michelle. Happy birthday. Very good, Officer Bob. Uh, we're going to take Officer Bob now back to the, the cell with pads on it uh, because that's where he needs to be. Happy birthday. Hello, uh, Michelle. Happy birthday to you. Don't know if you remember me. We went to nursing school together. I'm Sally May. And it was a joe, so, such good times we had in nursing school. We used to stay up all night and we would watch Beverly Hills 902034 or something like that. And we would sometimes smoke some crack. That was fun. Um, you gave me my first piercings um, and you taught me how to be a good nurse. Um, yes, I remember good times uh, before I met you. I was a, a, a street walker, and I had some bad times. I, I had some diseases that I don't want to speak about, and you helped me through that, and you got me off the streets and said, you know what, Sally Mae, I am a good person, and I should believe in myself, and I, I did. I believed in myself. Um, I sometimes walk into poles, which is problems from my drug use, but that's okay, because nobody judges me when I walk into the pose. And I thank you kindly for that, Michelle. You are my salvation. Anyway, I'd like you to say happy birthday and introduce you to my new boyfriend, who, oddly enough, you introduced me to him. Boyfriend? Hi, guys. Oh, yes, he's a firefighter. Uh, I believe he... Fights fires. Is somebody called for a fire? He's a little slow. Uh, he did drugs too back in his youth, but that's okay. Nobody called for a, a fire. Um, tell Michelle your name, boyfriend. My name is Marshall. Marshall? Well, I didn't know that was your name. I thought your name was Fire Marshal Bill. That's actually my name. Yes, yes, I well... Oh, good God. Uh, Michelle, if you have any other boyfriend people you might know, please give me a call, because he's an idiot. Did somebody call for a fire? No, no, nobody called for a fire. It's Michelle's birthday. She's she's turning 50, and that's a great age. Um, I might never make 50 because of all my bad drug use and, and basically the, the diseases I have inside my body. Uh, I will probably die before I'm 32. Uh, but that's okay, because Michelle told me it's okay to die. Uh, as long as I'm a good person. Thank you, Michelle. Well, I'm gonna go take out a fire somewhere. How do you take out a fire? You take it out of, like, a box? I think you put out a fire. Put out a fire. Good God. I'm what do you that... expect? I'm an idiot. Well, I, I did more drugs than you, and you are an idiot, but you should have seen Michelle sooner. She probably could have helped you. Um, he's actually not even a fireman. He he cleans toilets for a living, but I'm not going to judge you. No, I friend. don't. Yes, we well, that's cool. It's okay, as long as we get married soon before I die. Anyway, say happy birthday to Michelle. Happy birthday. Yes, happy birthday to you. 
Hey, yo, I'm the shell. I just wanted to say happy birthday. You know, um, I don't know if you remember me, but a couple... Daddy, I pooped my pants. Yes, you did good. You pooped your pants. Good God. Anyway, um, you know, you, uh, you, you fixed me up years ago. Uh, you were walking past uh, my construction site. Shh, I'm trying to say happy birthday to uh, Michelle here. You just sit there and play with your hat, special boy. And you walked past my site, and I said, I said, woohoo! You know, like uh, my other construction guys did. And uh, you threw a lunchbox and hit me in the head, knocked me off the girder. Daddy. Yes, Daddy is here. And uh, you broke, I broke my head. But I put my pants. Yes, yes, yes. He's he's a special boy, special boy. And you actually gave birth. You helped me, uh, you know, deliver, deliver my 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 son here. So happy birthday, and to you, uh, you know, if you're ever in my neighborhood again, um, my head still hurts from when you happy threw the lunch birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You want to sing uh, Michelle a song? Yes. Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. That's not the right song. Happy birthday.